Me and my sister relationship was going very well till my mom died, you know. It drawed us apart a little bit, but we got back cool. My son told me a couple of months ago that my sister be touching on him and my nephew in their sleep, touching on their private parts. My son also says that she give him money so he wouldn't tell anybody. I wouldn't think my sister would never do nothing like that to my son because she loved my son. When my son told me that, I felt really crazy. Like, he would never, ever lie to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm mommy and daddy at the end of the day. So, you know, I went to the police. I went to her and everything. And then you guys called me. I'm here today to find out the truth. If it is, it's going to hurt me. But I'm going to have to find a way to forgive her because at the end of the day, that's my sister and we all we got. And can't nobody take her away from me but God. And I love her. I want her to stay strong. If she fails the test, I will forgive her. But I just will not let my son be around her by himself. It's hurting me. It's just hurtful to be having to sit here and do this. It's not, I don't want to go through this. But I have to get the truth out. You're accused of molesting your nephew and your own son, right? Yes. And did you? No, I never did. I never touched my son or my nephew sexually. I love my nephew and my son. I would never do anything to hurt them. How did you find out you were being accused of this? Through my sister. Through a text message, and she later came over to my apartment and told me this. What ran through your head? I really, I want to kill her, for real. But I knew I had to get, keep a cool head and get through this, because for me to attack her, I wouldn't be here today to prove that I'm innocent. Right. So I had to keep a cool head so I won't end up <laughs> behind bars or anything. So. Um, how do you explain that the little boy said, she gave me money not to tell? Well, my nephew tells a lot of lies. He gets mad to tell lies, but he don't realize what the lies do to my family. Like, he don't realize that the lie that he told her. Well, why would he make up that lie? I have no idea, yeah. Steve. Because he's old enough. Right. Where, you know, if, if somebody that age told me something, you'd be like, okay. I don't know if he was mad at me. I don't know if she made up the line because of something she was mad at me about. I can't really say how it came out. But I know I would never do anything like that to any kid, not only my son and my nephew. Before this incident happened with um, your sister with this accusations, how was your relationship with her before it? I mean, it was a little rocky. We had back and forth things since my mom So got... it's never been smooth? No, it's never been smooth. We've always had a rocky relationship, but I want to just hear the daddy get this test and get more closer to my sister, like, because this is really, like, driving me away from my sister and my family and everybody around me. Is there any reason why she'd be saying this about you? I, I can't even say. I don't know why someone would make up a lot like this about someone. Now, she thinks that you started a rumor that she slept <laughs> with one of your relatives, right? Yes. Did you start no, a rumor? No, I never did. I never say anything bad about my sister. It's always things that come back to me that's been said to hurt and hurt me. Do you believe that she slept with a relative? No, I don't. Okay. Um, you came here and you took a test. Yes. Any chance you failed? No. So you, if you pass, you're hoping to work on your relationship yeah. with your sister? I want it to get closer. I want this to be the end of this. And I want to start a life for my sister. You believe that your sister molested your son. And why do you believe that? That's what my son told me, and me as being a parent, like, I couldn't just brush that off. What exactly did your son say to you? My son came to me and said that my sister was touching on him and my nephew while they were asleep. It only happened when they were asleep. I said, what? So from then, I just went crazy. I went to her house, I called her phone, sent her messages, put it on Facebook, and things like that. And did you go to the police? Yes. And what happened with that? They told me I had to bring my son to the police station to write a statement. But I never did that because I couldn't believe in my heart that my sister would do something like that. Um, so you're hoping, I mean, you took a lie detector test too, whether yes, you're telling the truth and whether you slept with this family relative. Right. All right, Megan, you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did you fabricate the story that your son told you that his aunt was sexually touching him and his cousin? You answered no. Did you coach your son to say that his aunt was sexually touching him and his cousin? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question. It came back that you told the truth. <laughs> Maria, you took a lie detector test. 
And we asked you, have you had any physical contact with Megan's son's private area for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. Did you ever offer Megan's son money in exchange for touching him sexually? You answered no. Have you ever had physical contact with your son for your own sexual gratification? You answer no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Maria did not tell the truth. I could read these three questions again. Physical contact no, I've never with physical. Megan's son's no, private never. area no. for your own sexual no. Did you ever offer Megan's son money in exchange for touching him sexually? No. You answered no. Have you ever had physical contact with your own son for your own sexual gratification? Oh, you answered no. And those three questions that you did not tell the truth. I never lied about anything. Okay. No, what mommy. Happened? I never did nothing did to my son. What happened? I never did nothing. We're or anything, we're sisters. Gavin, I, Megan, I never touched my son. I swear to God. I'm my mommy. You I'm not. my mommy. How did you feel I never this? Touched, this I don't is know, crazy. Megan. I never oh, touched my God. nephew or my son. Your son told you this happened. Yes. But I never He's not did lying. It, I oh, never I did it. Okay. Here's the problem. Here we have a child. A child. And he's being very descriptive. And he's telling you a story mommy, that most kids are not having an ima son. imagination to tell. And they're saying something that is very adult themed, right? And the fact that he's telling you this, and the fact that she comes on and fails this test, makes me believe that your son is telling the truth mm -hmm. and that he was molested. I okay? Molested. Well, then you tell me why you failed. I don't know. Maybe because I was nervous. I don't no. know. No. I never Ner touched every my, person my that goes, mother. So. Every person that goes back there is nervous. Yeah. Okay? But Nobody I never goes back to pool as a cucumber. I never um, touched my nephew or my your son. Your boy is older than her son. Yes. yes. Okay. Did he seem like he was lying? No, he didn't seem like he was lying, but I know kids make up. But they don't, you don't make up. No, not, you, you don't, don't make up. Like He's this. not making that up. He's not making that up. Kids don't really, most of the time, make up stories about being molested. Man, I swear to God, okay. they are to okay. do tests, Megan, on my mommy. I ain't this, never touched okay. my son or my nephew. I don't care what them tests are. I say. know when, it's, tests when it happens alter. with family. Megan, it's I ain't never touched my son or my nephew. Okay. You know I'm not even sexual okay. like that. You know that. Them but tests ain't I telling the truth, son. man. You that. I never did that. I'm this was I'm saying that they wet the bed or something. I'm my mother, I never touched her sexually. I never sexually. thought that would just be okay. Only you know if your son's telling the truth. <laughs> like, it does, and I mean, you need to go home. I need and to you get need my to, son. You need to do what the police told you to. Right. You need to go, have them do the statement, <laughs> and let them open an investigation. Will, will. Because otherwise... I'm going to look bad. Not look bad. Megan. You're going to cause gonna damage to your her. son. She going to walk away and my son going to hurt. You, you love your nephew? Him do you love your life. nephew? I Megan. love my nephew like he's my own son. If he's being abused, do you want it to continue? No. no. He's not being abused. Then you need to go home. I, he got, she got I never did nothing to none of them. And you need to put I'm her... I'm going to get the police Megan, come with me. Oh, mommy, I never I did this. Look at her. Megan, I never really? did this. Please don't believe this, Megan. Oh, mommy. Oh, look at God. me, sister. I would never do that to my nephew or my what son. What was her point to coming here if she's not going to believe the results? I yeah, can't. I came here to prove that I was telling the truth. I believe every day. I'm but she found out the and truth, I and that's not you're testing your own son. I never did and that. with that, you I can get the hell that. off my yeah. stage. <laughs> I know it hurts. It hurts so bad. But you got to be strong for your son. I am. I'm a strong individual. I go to school for dental hygienists. I'm a cook. I'm a full-time mom and dad. I graduate May 2022 from Tri-C. And I'm going to graduate. And when I get my degree, I'm coming back, and I'm going to let you know that I did that. And I'm going to be making $30, $40 an hour, and I'm going to get my nephew. I'm going to take care of my nephew. And I'm going to keep this family standing strong like I've been doing. And you know what? The first thing you need to do 
go home and go to the police, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's go. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.